Hey guys, Tyler with IE. Today I'm here to show you a quick overview of how to use our advanced launch control functions and user adjustability standpoints using PowerLink Mobile and your OB2 PowerLink dongle. First step is we need to go ahead and get the OB2 plugged into the OB2 port. And then we're gonna push the start button down one time without your foot on the brake. We just want the ignition on without starting the engine. And I'm gonna launch the IE app on my phone. Once you have the mobile app pulled up and connected to your Bluetooth dongle, we're going to simply go to tune and go through the checks just like any other time. Go to the transmission section and here's our different options. So under stage one, you'll have street, aggressive, or race launch. Choosing this is gonna to be totally dependent on your car, how aggressive you wanna launch, how good your tires are, uh, how much grip you're gonna get on the street. What you're shooting here for is to have the most aggressive launch, so the highest RPM you can get without spinning the tires. So as soon as your tires spin from a launch, you're actually losing speed. So this is gonna come down to the surface you're launching on, the surface prep, how aggressive of a tire you are. For most vehicles, you're gonna be somewhere between street and aggressive. We've got a pretty good tire on this car, but we're definitely not running a slick or a really aggressive tire. So I know for sure the race is gonna go ahead and slip on this. I'm gonna choose aggressive. And we're gonna go ahead and flash this tune. All right, so now we finish the entire flash. Uh, keep in mind, that is a regular flash, just like you're flashing the TCU for the first time when you're changing launch settings. So it's normal for it to take a little while and for lights and buttons and air codes to pop up on the dash. That'll all go away once you start the car, shut it off, and then start it again, which is the next thing we're gonna have to do before we can go drive it. All right, we've now flashed the car with our new aggressive launch and we're ready to go try it out. This new launch control is user adjustable and it has user adjustable set points based off the throttle position. So each level of launch, whether that's street, aggressive, or race, is gonna have two launch settings separated by 400 RPM. I happen to know that in the aggressive mode that the launch control setting is gonna be 3,800 or 3,400 RPM depending on my th foot position. How I'm gonna do that is if you put the foot all the way down on the throttle at 100%, that's gonna be the lower, the minimum RPM setting on this one is 3,400 RPM. And then if I put it all the way to 100% plus the kick down, that'll put it at 3,800 RPM. Also, it'll engage AMAX shifting. AMAX shifting is a, a, a more advanced level of shifting for the transmission. In short terms, it never lets power fall out of the transmission in between shifts, which will get you down the road aggressive. It keeps both clutches somewhat engaged between gears so that power is never lost. So if you're going for the fastest acceleration and the fastest time through gears, putting the gas pedal all the way down to the kick down point at launch will give you the higher RPM launch plus the AMAX shifting through your entire pull. Right. Also importantly, this car is gonna have to be at full operating temperature before you can engage launch control. So now I'm ready to go ahead and put this car in launch mode. First thing is we're gonna put it in sport just by dropping the gear shift down once and it should say S1 on the dash. And then we're gonna to to turn traction control off. You're gonna hold the button down until you see it turn all the way off. There it is and it'll say stabilization control off, warning, restricted stability. That's what you're looking for on that. So now I'm in sport mode with full traction and stability control off. If I put my foot at 100% without engaging the kickdown switch, that's sitting at 3,400 RPM. And if I do it again, it's gonna to go to 3,800 RPM and we'll also be engaging AMAX shifting. When you're ready to launch, just let off the brake. All right, 
That thing launches like a bat out of hell. That's <laughs> super fun. That's all there is to it. So you're gonna choose the best launch control for your tire and vehicle, whether you're stage one or stage two, et cetera, is gonna put out more power. Uh, this works the same for all stages. And then depending on how good your tires are, weather, surface traction control, everything else, or uh, surface traction, that'll be how good this thing will actually launch. So we'll go ahead and do it one more time again without engaging a max shift, just to show you uh, just slight audio difference of what that's gonna be like. You skipped a little tire there. <laughs> And there you go. User adjustable set points for shifting. Go out, have some fun with this. Make sure you do it in a safe location. This is best used for motorsports and competitive use in a safe area. And of course, live fast, buy fun.